The Lord, you are our shepherd. We shall not want. You make it us to lie down in green pastures. You lead it us beside still waters. Lord, you restore it our soul. <laughs>
that is creating these other the people around us doesn't matter doesn't matter who they are you know they could be the most old portrayed to be the most holiest this is why the bible speak about separating the weed from the tears which i will be reading that passage shortly and just sharing quickly with you guys about being aware in this time and to not be gullible to not be someone because uh, you know it's something i'm learning that even the person so close to you don't be surprised about who is around you don't be surprised about who can harm you let nothing surprise you because guys this is all biblical let nothing surprise you let not people's actions and behaviors and thoughts towards you surprise you so yeah it's just something that I've, I'm, I'm praying about because some people are sitting waiting it's sad it's sad because people will profess to you how much they're there for you or how much they support you but you know the difference especially when you're at a place where things doesn't seem attractive things is not flourishing that's when you notice and you see who is there to, to, to push you to propel you to greatness so guys what i'm saying is no it's not it's no news i'm just saying guys in the atmosphere we, we you know i don't know if you can feel it there's a sense of falseness there's a lot of corruption there's a lot of internal demons there's a lot of internal serpents there's a lot of beasts because a lot of, th a lot of times people think the beast when the bible talks about the mark of the beast or the beast we think it's a physical seven arms ugly thing that comes in front of us but in scripture we know and as in the spirit we know that the beast so it's the physical man that looks attractive it's like the devil the physical person that looks attractive but within them is is that beast character the beast is within so it's about people that to you they look like the perfect person the most holy to you they look attractive but within them lies that beast nature so guys we have to be careful about who's around us be vigilant and be prayerful because we're living in a time where it is easy to be swept away especially through money and gains and promotion so guys, that's just something that I had to share quickly because it's been on my thoughts. So guys, I'm reading from Matthew 13 verses. I'll read from verse 24, guys. <clears throat> Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while man slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then art it tears? He said unto them, An enemy had done this. The servant said unto him, will doubt then that we go and gather them up but he said nay lest while he gather up the tears he root up also the wheat with them let both grow together until the harvest and in the time of harvest i will say to the reapers gather ye together first the tears and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat in my barn it ended the reading of a portion of God's holy word. Thanks be to God. So there you go, guys. So what this parable means is that among us, we're talking about in our schools, in our homes, in our churches, wherever. And a lot of times people make this outlandish, outlandish statement about you go to church, why are you this way? How come you have this evil there and that evil? Remember, good and bad is everywhere, guys. But what the Lord is saying in Matthew 13 is that he's allowing 
the tears to grow among the wheat. So he's allowing the evil to be among us. He's allowing it. While he protects us, he's allowing this evil. Because sometimes you can't just, if you rip up the evil straight away, right before the so basically the wheat, if the wheat hasn't grown, if the wheat isn't at their best strength, they haven't, they haven't, they haven't matured. Then what you'll find if you if you try to tear out the tears at that time, you will destroy the wheat also. But the Father is saying, the Lord is saying, let the tears grow with the wheat until the day of harvest. Which is the day of judgment, guys. That's what it signifies. So let the evil grow with the good until the day of judgment. Let the false prophets exist. Let the lying tongues exist. Let the evil exist. Let the mark of the beast exist. The serpent doesn't look like a serpent. The serpent is one of the most attractive. It's the most attractive things around us. It's the most influential people around us. It's the people that comes, the wolves in sheep clothing. But God is saying, let the weed grow, hallelujah, with the tears. But in the day of judgment, he shall separate them. So let the evil, so we see a lot of evil, we see a lot of false prophet. And something also I've learned, guys, we hear a lot of times we hear people say, oh, God, God, be wise. You hear them? They're always saying, God have my back. God this, God is good. And we think they're talking about the living God. But they know what they're talking. God can be anything to some people. Some people worship money. Some people worship vanity. Some people worship people. Some people worship the beast. Guys, don't be fooled. Not because they hear people profess out of their mouth, God. Means you're talking about the true and living God. The same way you have one Holy Spirit. But out there, there's so many diverse spirits. But the Father said, let the wheat grow with the tears. Because if we pluck up before the wheat is ready, before the, the wheat is matured, then what you'll find is that the good will be destroyed with the evil. But let the evil grow. So let the, let, let, let the wicked believe that they are, they are winning. Believe that they are flourishing. But at the day, at this day, this day will come, guys, when God will separate the wheat from the tears. So guys, be weary. And let nothing surprise you. Be not fooled. Be vigilant. And it's just something that I've observed this week that some people some people are wolves in sheep clothing no matter where they are when you see all these disappearance you see all these kidnappings you see all these rapes these all of these horrible things going on in the world and we tend to be so afraid to address them but guys there's something behind it it's the same people that comes before you that preach that profess to be the most holiest, that profess to be the greatest people. Because we can only see, man look at the outward appearance, but God sees the heart. And every day I pray, I say, God, let your beauty be seen in me. Search me, O Lord, and know my thoughts. Because guys, we're not perfect. We all make mistakes. We all have thoughts that makes us sick. We all think things, especially when people hurt us, that makes us sick to our stomach, especially when we want to do right, especially when we want to grow in the knowledge of God. I don't profess to be holy. I don't profess to be anything but someone who knows there is a God, but someone who wants to be the best that I can be. But someone who don't want to be mixed up or be led away by the, this corruption. There's nothing about the world that attracts me. There's nothing about what's happening. No money, nothing that attracts me. Because all you see is this anguish. All you see is broken people. All you see is this demonic force that is taking rampant, that is taking over. 
But in the name of Jesus, I pray that God will protect. So guys, stay vigilant, stay prayerful, stay alert, and know that anything, it doesn't matter, because we as individuals, we're just mere human, and within us, like within us like no good thing and it's about having that conversation with yourself it's about knowing looking at you and say god search me and know my heart try me lord and know my thoughts see if there be any wicked way in me lord jesus so lord even this morning i thank you for the fellowship thank you for your word thank you lord that you have made me the head and not the tail. Thank you, God, that you've inspired me to preach your word, to speak life into your people. Lord God, I thank you for this day. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will touch each and every one watching this video, that you, O oh God, will be with us, that you will protect us from the snare of the enemy, protect our children, Lord, protect our minds, Lord, that we will be steadfast in the name of Jesus. Lord God, protect us from the tears that grows among us, Jesus, in our homes, in our churches, in our, in our daily life. Lord, help us to be guided in the name of Jesus. Because Lord, you are our shepherd. We shall not want. You make it us to lie down in green pastures. You lead it us beside still waters. Lord, you restore it our soul. You lead us in the paths of righteousness. Lord. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. Lord, prepare us a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thou anointest our head with oil, for our cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we will dwell in your house, O Lord, forever and ever amen guys stay blessed and thank you for watching and guys remember that he who has started a good work in you shall complete it to the end stay vigilant stay alert guide your mind thoughts and be blessed in jesus name.